Hi, this is Dr. Jane Bruner with College Park Family Care Center. I have been asked to answer a few questions about COVID-19 and pregnancy. The first question is, what are the changes being made during this pandemic? So in the office, some changes that we've instituted are spacing out our appointments. So there are a few fewer patients waiting in the waiting room. The other thing is we've had patients wait in their car until their appointment time, at which time they can be called and they can come directly in for their appointment and leave as soon as their appointment is done. We've also offered to patients that they can space out OB visits. So for example, instead of coming every two weeks between 28 weeks and 36 weeks, they can come every four weeks. So they're not in the clinic quite as frequently. Of course, this is for low risk pregnancies or people that have uncomplicated pregnancies. The other thing we've tried to institute is the use of telemedicine as much as possible. This doesn't always address every issue, but it is an option and we're trying to utilize, trying to utilize it as much as possible. The other changes in the hospital have been that um, there is screening now performed on every single person who enters the hospital. This is screening for symptoms, travel, um, risk factors, and temperature. The other thing is we have limited the support personnel or support people for a patient in labor in the postpartum period to one support person. This is obviously hard on patients and their families, but is necessary during a time like this. The next question is, can pregnant women who test positive pass it on to their babies? At this point in time, the research does not show that it is passed on through the placenta to the baby. Probably the most likely time when a baby would be um, COVID-19 positive would be after delivery if mom was COVID-19 positive and was breastfeeding and didn't use appropriate um, face mask uh, or hand hygiene. There are a few small uh, number of babies who have been diagnosed with COVID-19 likely who acquired it in that method. The third question is, what is the protocol if mom tests positive? Is she separated from the baby? At this point in time, this is kind of a case by case um, situation. Generally, the answer is if mom is asymptomatic, no, they are not separated. If mom is obviously in the ICU or baby has to be in the NICU, then definitely um, they will be separated temporarily. Otherwise, if mom is symptomatic, um, the baby can room in with the mom. Obviously, there's a discussion about risks and benefits to that. Ideally, there would be a curtain or at least six feet between mom and baby, and the cares for the baby would be taken care of by someone other than mom. A lot of patients also have asked, can they breastfeed their babies if they're COVID-19 positive? Um, the answer is that yes, they can. Um, the main thing is they would need to wear a face mask and also do appropriate hand hygiene uh, before and after breastfeeding the baby. It's also reasonable to pump um, and have a healthy adult give the breast milk um, until mom is feeling better and over the illness. The next question is how can their community help? Um, blood drives are important um, during a time like this. So um, a lot of blood drive donations, um, events have had to be canceled. So um, donating blood is a definite way to help in this situation. Another option or another thing is social distancing, staying at home and listening to the orders um, that have been instituted. Hopefully we're all doing those anyway, but that does um, help in the community as well as us personally. A few other questions um, that I've been asked are, are pregnant women more susceptible to infection or at increased risk for severe illness? The answer is that we really don't currently know if pregnant, are at, pregnant women are at higher risk of getting the illness, but what we do know is when, when pregnant women get sick with a respiratory illness like COVID-19, such as influenza, they can um, often be more susceptible to the infection and get sicker, which can lead to pregnancy complications such as preterm labor or preterm birth. Another question I've asked been asked is, I am pregnant and planning to travel this summer. Should I cancel my trip? The answer is yes. Um, at this point in time, we really don't recommend domestic or international travel, especially for pregnant women during this time. Another question is, I am pregnant and concerned about going to crowded places such as public transportation, restaurant, and work meetings. Um, once again, um, the rules apply to everyone, including pregnant women, which is um, be rigorous about hand washing, cover your cough, stay at least six feet away from people, social distancing, 
constantly wipe, wiping down high traffic areas um, and um, following your stay at home orders. Another question is, if, is it safe for patients to deliver a baby at a hospital? The answer is yes. It has always been the safest thing to have your baby at the hospital. Um, this doesn't change that. In fact, it probably makes it more important. Um, it is extremely important that patients are have the option of experienced nurses, um, doctors, and staff, including uh, newborn ICU and maternal fetal medicine in the event of complications for either mom or the baby. So delivery at the hospital is definitely the safest choice. If you would not have delivered your baby at home or at a birthing center, COVID-19 would not be the reason that you should decide to do that. Once again, thank you for your time. Everyone stay healthy and safe. This is Dr. Jane Bruner. Thanks.